I, uh, I used some Epsom salt and generated a stainless steel um, solar battery um, with pure water. Here's my voltmeter. Currently, there's it's it's gray skies, cloud cover everywhere. Solar panel in the window. We got a copper wire. <coughs> Runs all the way over to this battery. <coughs> and we have uh, we have a certain voltage. Almost three volts on the solar panel combination with the battery. As you can see, it's, it's, a, it's a holy wand. Two ninety, as you can see, two ninety. And if I take the solar panel off of it, take the negative off. We get 204, it's charging too, and it's also reducing in charge. But it should increase a lot in charge. You can make pretty powerful cells, um, really powerful cells out of Epsom salt and stainless steel with water and a charger. The cool part about this battery is that you don't have to worry about making a positive and negative metal. Um, it's actually, the positive and negative is generated from... Um, uh, magnesium sulfur in the electrolyte which is the um, Epsom salt and the positive and negative is generated by the flow of current and the Epsom salt itself so wherever the positive is is where the positive will be and wherever the negative is is where the negative will be because of the flow of current the different atomic parts of uh, Magnesium sulfur will bind differently on each terminal. So that's how you get positive and negative. That is a really cool battery too. It's pretty powerful. Um, probably better than lead. Probably the best battery you can really make at home on your own. Um, best battery for solar application if you want to make your own battery. Um, not to mention the resources are all ex pretty extremely abundant from 1 to 10 um, in the 10th place abundant abundancy um, and that's pretty cool so um, this is not the end all be all of energy or anything but it's uh, for solar application it will work really well so that was a lot of voltage that you saw for this. Um, it's, it ought to be pretty cool. Thanks for watching.